Okay, so we have a demonstration here that we're going to do because a lot of people think that we're using compressed air and they think that we've got compressed air in this side and we've got vacuum in this side. And then they say when we turn the valve on, the pressures will equalize and the reaction will stop. Everybody thinks that this vacuum pump takes more energy than we'll get out of the flow. Okay, so now that we have everything vacuumed out of our, um, we have all the air, the ambient air, CO2, oxygen, and nitrogen pulled out of our system and it's completely sealed. So over here we have hot water and over here we have cold water. Now the misconception is as soon as we turn on this valve this side will fill up with pressure and it will no longer have flow. But we want to show that it boils from this side and condenses to our cold side without uh, without equalizing until the temperatures equalize. <coughs> so as long as we create a difference in temperature on the cold side it will condense and turn into water and on the hot side it'll boil and create steam at very low temperatures. Uh, now I got, my hand, I got my hand on here so you can see that it's low temperature but if you come in we'll get a... We'll get a, a so the vacuum reading. makes the connection? Between uh, the two tanks? Yeah, the vacuum makes the connection between the two tanks because if, if you have um, any nitrogen, oxygen, and CO2 in your system, then the oxygen, nitrogen, and CO2 don't condense until you get down below like negative 100 plus degrees Celsius or Fahrenheit. So you have to have an extremely cold temperature to cause those gases to condense. So we need to remove those gases. We need to remove the oxygen, the nitrogen, and the CO2 from the system, which is what we did with the vacuum pump, obviously. Uh, we show that in the previous. So um, we're just going to show you the boiling action when we open the valve between the condenser and the boiler. Boiler condenser. And let's take a look at the temperature real quick. So this is our hot side. It's 140. And this is our cold side. Um, 37. So all you need is a difference in temperature. Okay, demonstration of boiler and condenser. Water battery. Condenser. The turbine will go here. And we, uh, we will just show that the boiler doesn't fill up the condenser and stop the reaction with vapor pressure. So, because it's cooler over here, the water will condense and it won't take up a bunch of space inside there. This is uh, a cryophorus setup here. So, I'm going to turn on the valve to allow the hot to flow to the cold and we'll see the boiling. Right now it's boiling a little bit because it's in vacuum and the water's hot. So it's boiling coming up to the top, condensing up here and then dripping back down. But you'll know you'll be able to see when I turn this on that this water will just boil like crazy because of the flow from the hot to the cold. <laughs> Let me get that up close. Okay, so I'm just going to turn it on a little bit so we can show the process. So it's going and condensing down here. It could implode if the glass breaks.
Oops. You can actually hear. If I turn this up, you'll be able to hear it more. And it boils like crazy. Whoa, and I felt the static. Well, there is a static charge there, right? Yeah, I'm probably charged. I got two of those. We need an electrode in the hot side and an electrode in the cold side. <laughs> It was building up static electricity. Right after the bell? Yeah. <laughs> With it fully open, it just boils like crazy. And it's condensing like crazy over here. You had that? We'll shut it off. Turn it back on. Let's go down. I felt static, so that's pretty cool. Turn it off. Turn it on. Turn it off. Turn it on. So this will continuously boil until it reaches a certain, until it drops in temperature to a certain point. We got four minutes of... <laughs> So we don't have to use the vacuum pump constantly. This reaction will just keep going and going as long as we maintain a temperature differential. Pretty cool. We're heating up, so we're heating up this side and cooling off this side. Yep. So, <laughs> let's put some more hot water in there. <laughs> <laughs> 